I've told my mother, I've told my friend, but I can bring myself to tell you what I think. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jill, if you're new, and today I have the fall clean and decorate with me. I was so excited to film this video. I feel like especially with the crazy year that 2020 has been, I have never wanted to decorate more and just have that cozy vibe in my house. So I got to decorating right away. I also have a copycat Panera soup recipe, their autumn soup. It is so delicious and it makes quite a bit so you can save some for the next day as well. I wanted to incorporate that because I absolutely love having something like a soup during the fall season. It just screams that cozy weather and snuggling up on the couch with a comfortable throw blanket. I'm just starting in the kitchen by cleaning everything up and getting all of the soup ingredients ready to be made. I hope that you guys enjoy the video. Please subscribe and let's get to cleaning so we can get all the decor put up. I was so excited to put this up. I'm so glad it came in on time. After I was done decorating the kitchen, I knew I still had a lot of decorating to do in my living room, hallway, and bedroom as well, but I wanted to get the copycat Panera Autumn squash soup recipe going. Since it does take about three to four hours on high in your crock pot to cook, I wanted to get it going so that it would be done and ready to eat after all of the decorating and cleaning that I was going to be doing. So I'm just starting by chopping up an onion and the butternut squash. I always feel like butternut squash is such a process to cut up, but it's so delicious that it's worth it. I will have the full recipe linked below for you guys, and you can substitute a couple different things if you'd like to. You can use brown sugar or coconut sugar. I use a mixture of both to get the best taste out of it, but you can always add more later. That's the beauty of the soup. And you put all of the ingredients into the crock pot for about four hours except for the half and half and then you add that at the end and blend it as you'll see here. But this is just such a satisfying soup. I feel like it goes so well if you make a simple grilled cheese with it or if you want to add it to something more fancy during a holiday dinner. 
I really just love it so much and I'm a huge Panera fan so I'm always trying to copy their recipes and find good ones that actually taste like them and my daughter actually loved this as well she loves sweet potatoes and squash so it was a hit for sure and I knew she would love it if you guys do try it please tag me or either write back a comment I would love to see if you guys you know taste tested it out and it really is so satisfying there's something about those fall vibes with having a squash soup in the house and ready to be made and it's just so simple to have on hand to take out and reheat it up I met him on a sunny day in late July and everything turned upside down I almost lost track of time as weeks went by I couldn't get him off my mind I told him I want that great love Like standing in the middle of a bonfire You don't know how you got there but you hold tight Knowing that you can't get burned Just tell me how we lost track of everything but each other I honestly don't know And tell me how we messed up Drifting away from each other Didn't want to let you go Carry on on your own Ever since I got a good look in his eyes I just knew that he was special He said he wanted to take it slow But I couldn't help that I wanted to take it to the next level Cause I wanted that great love Like standing in the middle of a bonfire You don't know how you got there But you hold tight Knowing that you can't get burned Just tell me how we Everything turned upside down I almost lost track of time as weeks went by I couldn't get him off my mind Now I'm just in my living room cleaning up all of my daughter's toys, just regular toddler life. She always has so many lying around. I was trying to keep it decently clean the night before since I knew I had a lot of decorating to do, but some always get thrown out no matter what you do. <laughs> it's just mom life. So I'm just vacuuming my rug up. I always try to vacuum it once before and then once after decorating just because little pieces of glitter get everywhere from any kind of decor. And I was really just going for a mixture of a colorful vibe on my TV stand with all of the fall colors. I wanted to incorporate some fun wall pieces and then of course put some cozy throw blankets onto the couches as well. I used some pillow inserts to put some new pillow covers I got in. Most of the things I got were from Big Lots and from Kohl's. I will leave links below to what I can find, but just so you have an idea if you're looking for something in particular. But I always add at least two or three throw blankets in my living room. I just feel like it's the best thing. It's my favorite thing to do is curl up after a long day on the couch and these blankets were so soft and so inviting and I just feel like they made the space come alive. Make you smile, don't I? 
moving into my bedroom, I just wanted to add a comfortable throw blanket and a cute pillow. I wanted to keep with the theme of the room. I have kind of a white and wood look going on and I just wanted to add some blush colors to the bedroom but also in a fall vibe and I think it turned out really well for just a simplistic look. I also had to be really crafty this year with having a toddler daughter just because I had to have things that if she knocked off shelves and such that nothing would harm her so I felt like it turned out really beautiful and something that would actually be able to stay up and last. so excited to finally finish this soup. I didn't have a hand blender so I just used my regular Nutribullet to blend it up. It worked just as well and gave it that velvet texture that's just so delicious. In the end you just add some of the heavy whipping cream and kind of whisk it all together and it turned out absolutely delicious. I hope that you guys enjoyed this fall video and it gave you some inspiration. Please consider subscribing. I hope that you enjoyed this and I will see you guys all soon. Bye. I wish I could freeze this moment.